The rumor is that you have been paid $18 million a season. Am I in the ballpark? I think we're in the ballpark, but, the, you know, that's... I, I can't even talk about that. That'll do it for me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. But it's not Mariah's salary that's drawing attention these days. It's her relationship with fellow judge Nicki Minaj. TMZ released this video in October of a heated argument between the two divas during an audition in North Carolina. After the cameras were off, Mariah claims that Nikki went too far, making physical threats against her, which I reported on The View. She said that when Nikki walked off the set, multiple people heard Nikki say, if I had a gun, I would shoot that effing bitch. Ooh. Did you take what she said seriously? It felt like an unsafe work environment. Anytime anybody's reeling threats at somebody, you know, that's just, it's not appropriate. I mean, I've got two babies. I'm not going to take any chances. So yeah, I did hire more security. I just felt it was the appropriate thing to do. Nicki Minaj has denied saying anything about a gun, calling it a fabrication. And when we asked her for a comment for this story, her representative told us she said what she's saying on this topic. Perhaps that also includes the lyrics to Nicki's newest single. Nicki recently released a song. It's called Hell Yeah. It's about American Idol, and she says... I'm quick to check a bitch if she is out of line. Are you the bitch she's singing about? Don't know. Don't know what she's singing. I didn't know she sang. I thought she rapped or whatever. Do you think this fight is detracting from American Idol? I think it's a classic, classy show, and it didn't need this. I really think it was just a crass moment. This public battle isn't the only challenge Mariah Carey faced. Her husband of five years, Nick Cannon, the host of a rival show, America's Got Talent, suddenly fell ill last year. Nick was hospitalized for kidney failure. How serious was it? And how is he now? It was very serious, but he's got some great doctors who really got in there and helped him out. And at this point, he's doing great. He's better than ever. His struggle with that life-threatening illness inspired her recently released song, Triumphant. So you keep on climbing. I was just trying to encourage people to never give up. The two had something else to rejoice over. They're twins, a boy, Moroccan, and a girl, Monroe. And this past April, they celebrated their first birthday, a family trip to Paris. And surrounded by adoring fans, the power couple renewed their vows on the Eiffel Tower. I'm the favorite uncle. For now, Mariah is staying close to home, taking every opportunity she can to spend quality time with the twins and maybe a few special guests. Rock, we were playing the piano. And next week, Randy and Mariah will be together again on the Idol Judges panel. And Mariah says she and Nikki have now made up. For me, ultimately, this is about the kids, the contestants. I've been blessed to live my dream more than half my life, so I want to help give that back to someone else. Mm. Our thanks to Barbara Walter.